Hello and welcome back to the return of Wyatt Tomlin. Happy Thursday, everyone. Uh, it is currently 8 p.m. today on April 6. Um, and I don't know about you, but for me, spring break is finally here. Um, I'm happy about that. Uh, it's about uh, four days. We get I get four days, a four-day weekend. Uh, tomorrow I get off, um, the weekend, obviously, and then I get off Monday, so it's a four-day weekend. So, in today's episode, I'm going to be talking about a little bit more things about just me, um, and some things that I like to do, and some things that, um, I really enjoy and that have a special place in my heart. Let's begin by talking about my three dogs. Um, I have three dogs. I have two huskies and a corgi, a little asshole corgi. Um, I don't, but I love all three of my dogs in all seriousness. Um, I have two cats, which I've, I don't know if I've ever mentioned that in a video or anything. Um, but I have two cats, Jerry and Miragold. Uh, Miragold we barely ever see. She just runs around. She's kind of a weird cat. Um, and Jerry, uh, he's just a really fat cat. Um, and, uh, I like Jerry, though. I really like Jerry. He comes up and he's a, he's a really good cat. Same with, basically, all three of my dogs. They can be bad at times, but they all have, uh, they are all pretty decent dogs, Ralph is obviously my favorite. You might have seen him in a couple videos. He's a he's a big fluffy husky, uh, a red Siberian husky. Um, he's a big boy too. Um, he's very he has a lot of hair, especially in the summertime. It is a pain in the anus to clean all of that crap up off of the couch and all that crap and. Hair flies all over. It gets in your mouth. Um, and uh, it's just... That's the only bad thing about having uh, a husky like like Ralph. But he can't help that. I mean, he's a, he's still an amazing dog. An absolutely amazing dog. I'm really thankful to have him. Another thing is, moving on to my other husky, Ada. She is not quite quite the same. She is very thin of a dog. Just... Just saying that, just to tell you guys some, some information about my dogs. She's a very thin dog uh, for uh, a husky. She uh, does not have thick fur. She has very thin fur, very, very thin fur. If you shaved it all off, it would she wouldn't look much smaller um, without all her fur. And usually huskies are supposed to look a lot smaller if they got all their fur shaved off. I know Ralph would because Ralph has a lot of fur. But, uh, my dog Ralph has a lot of fur, but, um, Ada, she's a really thin, uh, fragile husky, um, and she's a very nippy dog, but like I said, at the end of the day, I guess I, I mean, I love my, all my dogs. Ralph, I especially love, he is, uh, just a, I don't know, a dog, I, I think the best way to put this is a dog version of me. Um, I don't know why, but I just remember when we saw him at the pet, at the pet store, uh, he was the one. He, he just was. I felt a connection with him instantly. And ever since, he's just been, uh, my best friend in a way. And I think that saying is true, that dogs are a man's best friend, because, uh, Ralph truly is a, a really good friend. Um, but yeah, he likes to play. He's one of the only he's the only one of the three dogs who like to play as much. Well, he doesn't too much play as much, but um he likes to run around. He comes up and sometimes lays next to me. He's just a playful dog. Um but yeah, I've I've just always loved Ralph. I've always had a connection with him. And then uh like I said about Ada, she is kind of she can make you mad sometimes. I mean, if you walk a couple of feet from her, if she's just laying right by the computer or something, if you walk just a couple of feet behind her, she'll nip and go, I, I, I.
Sorry about that. My microphone unplugged because I chomped on the microphone. Anyways, um, what I was trying to explain by that is if you go close to her, she will kind of nip at your, like, I, I nip kind of like at your feet and do this little barking type. It's, it's really mean. It's like the kind of thing. It's like a, she like kind of, it's like nips and cries. It, it makes, it makes me, it makes you so mad. Um, but that's the only problem uh, with Ada. She's kind of a sassy dog. Um, she thinks, uh, she knows, she's one of those dogs that know if she does something wrong, but she does it anyways, because she gets away with it most of the time. Um, for example, she will have toilet paper with crap all over it, um, and she'll chew it up. She's having herself a little snack, um, of crap, um, the chewed up toilet paper, she gets it out of the trash can in the bathroom, um, and, and chews it up into like a little soggy crap paper, or snot paper if you blow your nose or something, she'll get that out and she'll chew it, um, she also likes to steal, uh, steal your socks while you sleep, um, I guess she feels comfortable with them or something, but, um, yeah, that uh, you walk by, you walk in the room, and my sister has her nose up to the computer, and Ada's just sitting there having a, having a snack on crap paper, and she is seems pretty comfortable doing it. That's the only problem with her. She thinks she just thinks she can do whatever she wants. But then she runs back into her cage after when someone sees her because she knows some she knows uh, that she's doing something wrong. Okay, and then real quick, I'm gonna move on to Albert, the little guy. <sighs> yeah, the little guy. Um, Albert's that little corgi that you've probably seen in some of my videos. Unfortunately, life hates me, so they deleted my last YouTube channel. Um, but if if it was still here, you you could go back and see some of the videos that I had of my corgi. Um, and I just posted a video on this channel, or on uh, my backup channel that I have, um, of him uh, getting his nails trimmed, and he's kind of squirming around. Um... He's a good dog, uh, for the most part. He is very, very cocky, and very, he thinks he, I don't know, he kind of, like, shows off, I feel like, in a way. Um, but he's, he, 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 at the end of the day, like I said, all my dogs are, are, they're good dogs. Um, but Albert, he's just a little, I don't know how to describe it, just kind of like a little demon, I guess would be the word. Um, but yeah, he, he, um, uh, is jealous of Ralph, so he goes up to Ralph and literally pounces on his neck and has his jaw locked on Ralph's neck, my husky. Um, he goes up to Ralph con constantly and harasses him for just getting attention, whether Ralph's getting petted, or, um, he's, uh, barking or something, Albert will go up to, uh, him and literally, this, this doesn't happen all the time, but he, sometimes this will happen, he go, he'll go up and he'll charge for his neck and he won't let go, my little corgi, so Ralph tries to squirm and get away, and another thing about Ralph is Ralph doesn't have a single mean bone in his entire body. He's not gonna, he's not gonna go out of his way to fight and try to beat up Albert, because he could really hurt Albert, and I keep telling, I keep telling him that he, he can hurt, he can really hurt Albert, but he decides not to. Um, Albert growls in Ralph's, right in Ralph's ear, and Ralph could really mess him up if he really wanted to. But he's too nice of a dog. He will defend back. He will try to get. He would try to defend himself. 
um, if when Albert does that to him, um, grabs a hold of his neck. But it's it, he kind of just squirms around. He kind of just like tries to move his head around. So it's kind of just like a corgi biting a husky's neck, and the corgi is flying in the air. Um, because Ralph moves around trying to get him off of his neck. Um, and this is for no reason at all, like I said. Albert does that sometimes. He, I don't know what his problem is. He's jealous or something that he, that he's not getting the attention. It, they're also both male dogs, so I, I don't know if that has anything to do with anything. But, um, yeah, I don't know. It makes me so mad when he does that. And if Albert gets aggravated at something else... Like, for example, if some something else besides Ralph. It doesn't even have to be anything to do with Ralph. If something happens that aggravates Albert, he'll go, he'll go towards Ralph. He will go towards Ralph and start growling at Ralph. Like, it's a little, um, it's like he's an e- easy target to attack because he doesn't have the courage to fight back. I feel like I feel like that's kind of relative to people too. People are like that too. Um I just realized that how uh related to some people that can be um that people go out of their way to pick on a certain person because they can't fight back and they are uh don't can't they don't defend themselves. That's literally the exact same thing but with my dogs. Um, but, yeah, all, all three of them are, they're, they're, they're good dogs, but, uh, we had to break up a couple fights, and it can get bad, too. It can get bad. Uh, not fights, I shouldn't call it fights, I should just call it Albert being an a-hole, um, and wanting, or, and jealous because he doesn't get enough attention, that's what I should call it, because it's not a fight, they're not both fighting, it's just that Albert goes up and grabs a hold of his neck, and Albert, or Ralph just tries to squirm away and move his neck all over and trying to get him off. Um, but yeah, I. That's a little bit about my dogs. You don't see Miragold, uh, my cat, the girl cat. You don't see her too often, actually. She just runs around. Uh, the house. Uh, and Jerry, you'll see him. Which Albert, he's he goes and chases Jerry, obviously, because that's just the kind of person. That's just the kind of uh, character that Albert has. Um, but I love my dogs. I didn't mean for this this episode to be all about my dogs, but it is. Um, we got Ralph back in two thousand and eighteen. He was featured on. The video on my other channel that got terminated. Um, He was featured in the video, Bowser Jr. Gets a New Dog. Which is back when I did the Bowser Jr. and Friends series. He was featured in that episode in 2018, I believe. Just, I believe just like five days or four days after we got him. I featured him for the first time. On my YouTube. And of course you can't find that video now. Because it's gone. Because that channel's terminated. Because you know. Life. But. Yeah we got him in 2018. In the November of 2018. And we got Ada just a year later. In 2019. Late 2019. Then we got Stupid Albert in. uh, What was. Oh May. May of 2021. So that wasn't just that long ago. Uh. Albert's the kind of newer one to the group. Um, but yeah, that's a little bit about uh, the some of the things that make me happy, like my do- like I was saying, my dogs, um, and just kind of just kind of explaining that a little bit. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, this is the end of this episode. Join back in the next episode. I will, I'm going to do another episode uh, later tonight. Make sure you join back. Uh, the Return to Wyatt Tomlin. And thank you for watching. Blech.